Okay, first quick, I'm going to go over a few of the materials that I picked up for this project, kind of what the general plan is going to be, and then uh, we'll get started on it. We got two by six wood that we're going to use for the decking. We got a two by three rectangular tube, quarter inch wall thickness. This all this material is actually quarter inch thickness. This is going to become the back of the trailer. We've got quarter inch by two inch flat. This is what's going to be used to sandwich the wood decking to the trailer frame. And then we've got two by two angle iron, quarter inch thickness. This is what's going to be the supports underneath the decking. And this is five by three inch angle iron, quarter inch thickness. That matches the material that was originally used to build the trailer for the sides. So that's gonna be our sides. We're also going to use the angle iron for making a new lip for the ramps to go on. We're gonna to need to cut this one off. Looking at it, I think I can actually use this bottom half of this to sandwich the bottom part of the wood in. So I'm probably just gonna plasma cut it off along this line. And then we can start mocking up where I want my side rails to sit, what my angle is gonna be. Figure that out, start cutting metal and piecing this together. Okay, so we've got both of our side pieces just tacked into place here. Got that one over there. We started with this one, just kind of eyeballed it, figured uh, what looked about right. I left them a bit long. Tacked it in place. Marked two foot off and then used a magnetic angle finder to find 90 degrees because this is kicked down it's going to kick the straight up and down back this way in relationship to the straight cut on the end. So that's where we're going to cut these off at so that the back of the trailer is straight up and down. Basically made the other side just to exactly like the first side. Took all the measurements off the one that I eyeballed together and used that to create this one. Tack welded that one in place as well. Now we've got our piece of two by three inch rectangular tubing that we're going to use for the back of the trailer. We measured the width that it needs to be from the trailer itself rather than the end of our extension because we haven't made sure that this is square yet. So if these are kicked in or kicked out, that would change that measurement there. And we want that to be the same as it is on the trailer. So I took the measurement from the trailer and we're going to cut that to length. Okay, now we're using a ratchet strap to pull this square. 
Now that it's square, we can go ahead and weld up our corners, make this solid. I then added an angle iron support for the center of the deck. Boxed in the end of the square tubing. Added my rail for the ramps to lock into. As well as the flat iron for the deck to set on. Added a gusset to the joint where we tied into the trailer. And I cut the end of the angle iron off at an angle just to make it look nice. Then we cut our deck boards and we're going to lay them in place. Then I've got two pieces of flat iron that we're going to weld in place to sandwich the boards in and keep them in place. So I had to haul the bobcat around to do some snow removal. And this worked great. We didn't have any issues at all. Loaded and unloaded the machine several times off of the trailer, and it worked just fine. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a good day.